Hi guys, so today I am going to be filming a updated 2018 brow tutorial. I kind of stopped filming brow tutorials because I just had so many of them, but they're all slightly different. So I got a lot of requests to do a 2018 updated version and here it is. I hope you guys like it. All right, so we're going to start off with a cleaned up brow and a brow pencil. So today I'm using the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso and I absolutely love this brow pencil because number one, I don't have to sharpen it. The tip itself is really nice and thin and and it is retractable so it's like an auto brow pencil type of situation so you do not have to sharpen which I really love and it also has a brow spoolie on the other side of the pencil so as you guys could see I start off by filling the bottom part of my brow then I use the spoolie on the other side of the pencil to brush down my brow hairs and then I line the top part of my brow and connect the tail end once the tail is connected I start filling in that outer part of my brow and then working my way towards the front but only keeping most of the product on the bottom part of my brow and brushing it up slightly. I don't want the front part of my brow to be super dark or super thick and you know what I mean it's too concentrated like there's a lot of product right there I don't want it to look like that. So I keep most of the product on the bottom part of my brow and just blend it in with small strokes. You know, if you guys are having a hard time doing your brows, you know, just practice, practice, practice until you come up with a shape that you like and with a kind of shade that you like. Because I know some people like their brows super dark and some like them super light and super natural, okay? So as you guys can see, now I go back in with the spoolie, I brush in the product, and I also use my fingers to kind of blend in the front part of my brow because I don't want it to look like it has a lot of product. Now going in with a concealer brush and the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Fawn. I'm going to use the concealer applicator to clean up my brow. If this is not your thing, you definitely don't have to do it. You do whatever it is that makes you happy as far as your eyebrows. You do not have to follow every single thing that I do, but I personally prefer to clean up my brows if I am filling them in. Regularly, on a regular day, I do not fill in my brows. I do not wear makeup every single day. But when I do fill them in, I do plan on doing a full face of makeup, okay? So now I'm going to go in with my concealer brush and gently blend in that concealer. You want to blend it into your skin really, really nicely. You can definitely use foundation if you do not want to use concealer. If you do use concealer, you want your concealer to be maybe a shade lighter than your natural complexion. If you want more of a natural look, you can definitely use your own foundation shade or find a concealer that is exactly your complexion and use that under your brow but I prefer the lighter colors because it gives me a highlighted look and under my brows is naturally lighter than the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade Warm Cocoa, or Warm Coconut I mean. I'm gonna use the same concealer brush and clean up the top part of my brow and connect the two shades. As you guys can see there, the foundation and the concealer connect right there. Then I'm gonna go in with the brush and clean it up. I'm kind of feathering out the foundation to kind of thin it out so it makes it easier to blend. Like I said, you can use your fingers if you want to blend out the edges or you can use a foundation brush or a beauty sponge. I'm pretty much done, but there's a part of my brow, the top part of where my tail end is, not all the way to the bottom, but like right where my arch is, right up there, it's a bit thin. And I have this random patch of hair missing from there, like a little scar or something. I've had it for a while, so maybe it was a pimple or maybe I scratched it, I don't know. But anyways, I just added in just a bit more pencil just to fill in that spot. Then I'm gonna go in with whatever product is left on my brush and just blend out the rest of the concealer. Now using a brow gel from Benefit. If you do not have a brow gel, you can definitely use something I used to do before I even discovered what YouTube was, which is hairspray. When I would do my brows, I would spray a little bit of hairspray on my fingers and rub it onto my brow to keep them in place. The brow gel will definitely prolong your brow, set it in place and keep it from moving around around and it's definitely nice to have but if you don't have it definitely use the hairspray I hope you guys like this 2018 updated brow tutorial if you did make sure you comment down below subscribe to this channel hit the bell button so hopefully you don't miss any new uploads and I'll see you guys all in another video very soon love you guys bye <laughs> 